Matsumont's dead, does he have to it? And what's even better is it's our second home game in a row. Montpellier, two home, and this time it's a monster. It's Toulon at our doorstep, ready to take away our undefeated streak. Bonjour, everyone, and welcome back along to the Montpellier career mode. We, yes, one game in, we are undefeated, and I'm going to run with that as long as I can. Because today, yes, we take on Toulon, which is a, a very, very tough side. But when you look where they are on the table, they're down in last. But again, much like us in our undefeated streak, remember Toulon have just played the one game where they lost by a big margin, 30 points to 12, to, I guess, rivals, Toulouse. In the last meetings between these two sides, it's been a win, a loss, and a draw for each of these two teams. But today, we set the record straight. We've made minimal changes, one most notably at Scrum Half, where Benoit Paylag comes in for the international duties of Tate McDermott. And we say much the same for Fecundo Issa on the Toulon side. He is away on international duty as well. So the rugby championship clearly is in full swing. Other changes we made, Skinner coming in to the midfield. Didn't see enough out of it, and I do enjoy the playmaking chances that Skinner does operate at 12. He's got Lau Mape outside him at 13. I know he's a 12, but we're seeing what he does at outside center. Maylands moves to the bench. We'll see him soon. Padovani's coming, freeing up the space with a non-French player. Paylard coming in for McDermott. That means Padovani can come in for that fullback rotation. Aside from that, we are pretty much unchanged. Up against us, so tough tough of his opposition we know exactly what Toulon are going to bring it's a beef Nakarawa Tulufua big boys in that tight five and then any team with Sergio Parise at the back at number eight is going to be dangerous but a question mark Sakalua and Paiawa at nine and ten how are they going to perform wishy-washy at best throughout the seasons? But here's the man to look out for. Not a fullback anymore for Toulon. He is on the left wing. Blair, very good finisher as well on the right side of the back line. And Hurtel in the midfield with Septa. That is some areas we could attack them through the guts of their back line. Having with the bench and on their side of things, not much really. Brooks there, De Plier sitting not a lot going on on the Toulon bench for us, though. Like I said, Malin's there, Reece Samet, Bautier. Yes, Ratiz is back. How did I forget about that one? Ratiz is back, of course, on the right wing. Reece Samet moves to the bench. And, of course, Capelli with Drago, Hamaraj, Gomez, and Gorda Sally round out our 23. Oh, yes, it's good to have Ratiz back in the lineup. It's great to have good depth as well that we don't rely on one or two fantastic players as Colby gets us underway and proceeds as the man to take the ball down and lose it straight away Toulon great break and it's through the middle play over great speed from the fly half he goes to the skies and Paylag gets there first and climbs high with the ball what a start to this game electric is one way to describe it. That is a great kick from Paylag. Such a big kicking range that either it was going to go 2 metres or 32 metres. Luckily, we got it on the right side of the ledger there. And we'll just make sure Paylag doesn't do too much kicking in the future. Tolofua throws and the head is not straight at all, but it's nicely playing down from Nakarawa and hand is right there in the back as well. And they are bulldozing! Up the field, a oh, pathetic little chip over the top. Valera is chasing, but doesn't get anywhere near it. And Teddy Thomas grinds it down and will once again kick for touch. Oh, that's not quite as good as the kick from Paylag. They've let a bounce have too long to the back, and they all rumble back. Like a fly sets them off through the midfield again. Paylag does brilliantly. Colby up against Belarus. Out wide here is Paylag. What a beat! And the Italian stallion, big man himself, Pedavani, makes the defensive work pay. And I've just realised I'm not sure why Toulon are playing in the black, but they are. I guess they're away. 
They've got the bait strips on tonight, and they're still on the line out the front. Springbok, a towering second rower, Ebenezer Beef, pulls it in for the visitors who continue to rumble. Little chipper behind that grubber was pathetic again. Takalua, the kicking option taken here from Toulon, and nothing short of disastrous. And they've just given us a, an escape route time after time after time. Three times, in fact. Bellow, who's not even touched the ball yet, I don't think, has finally it in his hands, and he's... Whoa, he got that Justin Colby. Could have gone out in the full. Colby returns back to the 22. Penavani smashed! Well, they come up very quickly. Thought they were offside, but a great chase. Let's see who was involved there. Crossfield, very good kick. Watch how quickly Penavani turned. Bang! Don't tell me Crouch. that was play hour once more. Find. Oh my goodness, he's been insane. Sit. I give a little bit of stick about being rather average. And he's come out and he's dominated us. Couple of big line breaks. Opportunity to score. And now here he is again. Play hour versus either. Goes out to the left wing of Shazlin Colby. Rubbers it in behind. And Rasee says, not today, Cheslin. Stops it in his tracks. The second rubber kick into our end goal from this Toulon back line. Let's see if Bello can drop this one in short and look to regather. Teddy Thomas was flying. We could turn Not this over. Penalty even better. Nakarawa isolated. Could release that ball out. And now we get to go upfield. Bello, someone who can actually kick, looking for touch. And seems like we've got a strong wind against us as well. That one held up. But did find touch. Lama Bay gives him the nod of approval. And now we're on the attack. No, no, still, but it's been too long. Who have been inside our 22 all day long so far. Paylard with a little bit of room and a chance to run. Colby traps him down with a good tackle around the bootlaces. Pick and go. Watson. Skinner. Quick hands. Lama Bay. Look who he's got. It's Retains. And he'll dot it down in the corner. Oh, no. Maybe he won't. Massive tackle. The try is given. And Vincent Ratiz grabs the opener. Well, I don't know what quite happened at the end there. Ratiz wanted to go towards the six. Big tackle there. But it finally flung out wide to allow Mape and the 13 jumper. Ratiz steps in. Big hit there from Tucker Lua. Anyone I say is rather average. They have cracking games. Sakalua is playing pretty well. Payawa as well is having a sensational game. But Toulon have not scored any points. We're 5-0 up. And yes, there is a strong breeze in our face as well. That's, well, we knew already. Here is Bello. Right kick there from the fly half. Puts it over. No mistake about it. It's 7-0. Montpellier on the scoreboard. Toulon, well... We're taking too long. That's what's the problem. Chance after chance in our 22. What do they do? Nothing. What have they got to show for it? Nothing. Bunch of scrubs. No wonder you're last on the table. Speaking of, here's Bello. Oh, well, no, he's, he flipped it off there to Ortiz. Bello, get back. We need you. We need you kicking. Here we go. Good work. Fired back. Was that inside the 22? Well, we're about to find out. We've wrong footed Smiley at the back. And I think that is a happy face on the head of Bello. I mean, where, where is your face? It's on your head, isn't it? Where else can it possibly be? Line out. Stolen. Big play at the back. Now Bello's got some balls to run with. Oh, high. High shot. No arms. Call it what you like. It's yellow card. That's what I'm going to call it. Dangerous. Sadistic. Who is it? Oh, it's Payawa. <laughs> Well, he was having a good game. It's gone to custard for him now. He's tumbling like the house of cards. And Anthony Bello will line up. Jeez, if the wind was going the other way, this is a sure thing. But if this breeze, you've just got to smoke it, Bello. Smash it, Anthony. Hit it hard. It's good. It's straight. It's over. It is a thumper. 
from our number 10. And speaking of 10s, it's 10 nil. Well, these chances gone begging early from Toulon must be starting to come back to haunt them. Surely 10 nil down now. And what could have been of their good start? Great tackle, great shakes from Colby. We struggle on here with this one. But Paylard will fire it back to Bello, who's right there again. Now, this time, I think we were outside the 22 pass back. Smalley, the outweighting draw. Great step to come back from as well. And a crossfield kick has Padovani scrambling. Gets a look out, Padovani. Oh my goodness, that is a stunning chase. Padovani was trotting across like a camel going for a light drink. And Susan Colby, the gazelle, flying down the wing. Magical rugby. Look out, Laomape chasing hard here as well. It's all on for the kick chasers. That's Not a penalty. Policing. That is a big penalty. Nakarawa again. Isolated. Nowhere to go. Big penalties. There goes the buzzer, actually. We will, sh well, we should get this line out. But uh, to be fair, I think we'll just kick it out anyway. 10 points to nil. Is there any points at trying to delay this first half? Let's give it a stab, shall we? Telfo for North finds proceeds. Bello, brilliant. Now Mape gets the feet rumbling upfield. Plenty of numbers standing there at the breakdown. No one wants to help out. Watson away to Petabani. It's another one on hand for Ratiks. No! Oh, Skinner! Skinner! Two options. Skinner on the inside. Ratiks on the out. Petabani took it to the corner. Flicked it back. And Skinner. Oh, that was disastrous. He's failed to make it pay. And they go to the break with Montpellier. Up 10 points to nil. It was a half of missed opportunities for especially the visiting Toulon side. You can see by these stats, all the possession, all of the territory. More line breaks, more chances. But the yellow card let them down in their ill-discipline and poor finishing let them down as well. We've made the errors though, handling errors costing us right at the end of this half. Big chance gone begging from Skinner and maybe we need to pick that up in the second and put this game clearly to bed. Toulon though, a team you can't take lightly. Will they fight back or do we take a bonus point? Oh, don't talk about them yet. Let's get back to the action. Ready to resume the action. It is 10 0, still half time, just been and gone. And it's one team who can score points versus one team who dominates and delivers nothing. But it is too long. The non deliveries who are receiving the kickoff down near the 22. And they'll look now to exit their way. Power back on the field. That's a nice little kick, too. From the Australian down to Benavani. Oh, oh, look out! The big high tackle as the Italian was starting to get going. It's going to be a second yellow. Who is this? Gone. Yellow card. Well, that is a big play on the visiting team. We got it. I thought about a kick there for the sticks, but instead we'll go for touch. We'll look to put these guys away right here, right now. If we go up 17-0, there's no chance they're going to get back in this game. 45 gone. Man down. Didn't even see who it was. Don't care. We'll beat them anyway. Paylag, run it up, son. Bello, Skinner, Lamape, running it himself. Lamape charge, and he's knocked the ball on. Oh, what could have been between Skinner and Lamape. The knock-ons. Two tries begging. Love those quick hands. Big hit to Crouch. Flicking aside. Bind. The attempted, would you even call it a tackle? Set. From Smalley. But a big, big charge from Lamarpe. Almost delivers the goods and the score remains. At 10 points to nil. Advantage to play. Oh, he's knocked it on. What? Where did our advantage go? He knocked it on the end goal. And our advantage Release. instantly ended. Toulon have picked it back up and they've got away with murder there. 
maybe they won't last though. Flanco turns over, hard for Thomas! Make no mistake, Vitelli is in town and Thomas scores his first for Montpellier and now this one should be put to bed. Well, aggression at the breakdown. Toulon just could not get out of that five meter channel. Over it went Flanquart. Quickly to the middle. Now Marpe again. What a distributor he's becoming in this team. Thomas loves it. Retigues loves it as well. And if Skinner could catch, he'd love it a little bit too. 15 nil. And this one. Maybe all over. Toulon have hardly looked like scoring a try. They're losing men to yellow cards all over the place. And now they trail by 17. Well, there's a smile on the face of Anthony Bello there as he trots his way back to halfway. And now we can see Luckify is the man who was sent off the open side flanker. And man, what could have been Cheslin Colby Number of chances for the left winger as well. Maybe they should put him back to fullback. Garado! Strong carry there from the hooker. It's Montpellier. Struggle their way to hold on to position. And Bello says, not down this end of the field. Bugger off up your end. And a big charging kick. Getting us up over halfway. And even Placides is pretty happy about that as well. Speaking of him, maybe it's time to make some changes. 17 nil up, let's try and... Oh, that is a shocking line out throw. Pelo gets smoked. Skinner on the ball. Lamarpe! Let's hide. Let's put in Salter injury. Colby's gone. Third yellow card. Toulon. No discipline whatsoever. Let's take another seven, shall we? Wind it out back. Let's go, Bello. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, oh, what a kick that is! Even Skinner has got a little bit excited with that one. Feathery touch of Anthony Bello. Gerardo to throw. Flank right at the front. Pay like Sean Kamala! Oh, he was right there! It almost worked as well. Let's see if we put this one away of the forwards now. Watson. Almost half through, through an instant pass, and now it's a runaway chance for Toulon. And they break through the middle as well. Big chance for Henretel. He hits it up towards the 20, 10 meter line for Flanquart. Gets another right turnover. Slow ball for Toulon, but they may well hang on here. I'm looking at Bumber on the short side. And Racines is there as well. Looking back and field. Little Grubber ahead. That wasn't where I wanted it to go. Great shakes back. And eventually kicked away from Zakalua. A little bit messy there. Routines, I saw all those numbers on the inside. But they didn't follow up that chase. And it was an easy scramble for Toulon. Back to the line out though. 17 now up. Let's put another one on the board, shall we? Paylike again. Bello. A little hole. Bello. Another high tackle. Let's get on with this game. Bello taps. Runs, looks for Lamarpe, open up, like the Red Sea. Straight through he goes. Hard to stop. Pelag, Frank one to Soros one. He's been phenomenal, but he's lost it in the tackle. And it's kicked away from Playoa. He finds such a short of that 10 meter line. No, it wasn't even Playoa. It was Sipta. Colby's back. He has been, well, he's been disappointing, let's be honest. 73 minutes on the clock. Garado again, turning that territory set around. Bello. Oh no, another one. This is getting insane. It's a nice little chip too. I thought Skinner could have been onto that. Well, let's do it again. You just want to keep high tackling us. We're going to keep going to the corner. Not as good as the last one from Bello, but it allowed Marpe standards. So he gives it a nod. Let's do it again. Garado. 15 meters out. To the back they go. 
payload. Shimmies it up. Squirts it out the back. Oh, it's picked up from Toulon. And Paola off the field again. Looking for Inatel. Can't find him. Maybe a chance there for the turnover. Big bus. Like a fire wide. And it's going to be a runaway for Valer. No one will get close. Retain's way out of position. And Toulon do not give up. They fight to the end. And that may give them some respectability. Very good player is Valer. And when he got that open space, he was gone. Great pass. And the speedster, normally so dangerous, hasn't had the chances tonight. That is a great try from Toulon. And I guess we've just got far too comfortable with this game. Penalty after penalty after penalty. Maybe we should have taken a three. Time is almost up. There it will go. It's Takaloa. That's the extra two. That is a disappointing result. Yes, we got the win, but boy, oh boy, it should have been so much more. The scoreline, if anything, flatters the visiting to long side. We dominated this game from start, no, not start, from about half an hour in till the very end. It was all the blue of Montpellier. Disappointing scoreline. That is the sort of game you should look at and go, we should have got a bonus point. After early pressure from Toulon, they should have scored a couple of tries themselves. They didn't. And in the second half, that was us. We should have scored two, three, four more tries. But we didn't. Just the one to Thomas. And of course, early on to Ratiz. Bello, perfect from the tee. Two conversions and a penalty goal. Valer Takalua for Toulon. Look at the stats at full time. To be honest, not much really changed. We got a little bit more territory and a little bit more possession. Big line breaks added up though, both sides making short work of defenses until it come to the crunch of scoring tries. They just could not do it. And now they're Toulon, look at the score line and they look at the fact that they gave away all of those penalties and all of those yellow cards. Maybe if they kept 15 men on the field, they might win a game. Well, there is your confirmation that indeed the rugby championship is ongoing. The Wallabies with a big win, 42-32 over the Pumas. Um, and plenty more action, I guess, in that competition going on as well. But our concentration is fully on Montpellier. We hit the road. Next episode, we take on Breve, who are doing not too badly, to be honest. A win and a loss. Plus 12, 5 points, so they got a bonus as well for either that win or that loss. But boy, oh boy, look at these mugs down here. Minus 28. What a bunch of losers. La Rochelle, remember them? What was it, 24 games on the trot in Season 1? Now they can't buy a win. They, they are cemented to the bottom as well. Asian, Racing, they're down there too like they belong. Leon, trouble there as well. Cast. Not doing as well as we'd expect either down in eighth place. Bordeaux, though, they are the team to watch. Start Francais doing very well as well. This is a surprising season. Toulouse right up there. One win and one loss now after they beat Toulon in their opening fixture. Next up for us is Brief. Here's a little look at the fixtures as well. We saw Start Francais 21 12 over Brief in their last matchup. With these guys, Bordeaux. Man, when do we play them? That is going to be a cracker. Well, not till the end of October. So that it's just before we head to Europe, which I tell you something, this season we're going deep into the European Champions Cup. That does about do us for today's episode. Mm, do we have Mpimpi back? That's what I want to know. And Tate? No, neither of them. Okay, so they're out for next episode. Do we change the team? Are we happy? Are we unhappy? Padovani was exciting. Lamape was amazing at 13. Skinner, well, he was crap, wasn't he? So good last season. Pretty average in his first chance this season. Do we give them another chance? Do we bring back Mayland? I should have used subs, but you know why I didn't? Because I wanted to score that try. I was like, score that next try. Put this game to bed. Bring on the subs. 
Didn't happen. Didn't get the subs. Um, next episode, we'll, we'll put on some subs. Bellow's amazing. We're looking all right. We're looking pretty good. Next episode, though, Breathe coming your way on the road. I'll see you for that one. Until then, though, big thanks for tuning in and watching. Hope you enjoy the series. Big wins, two in a row. Loving life here at Montpellier. Until next time, take care.